Hey everybody, Rapinoe handicapping thoroughbred racing from Presque Isle Downs in Erie, Pennsylvania on Wednesday, August the 17th. And this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 6 this evening, folks. 7.35 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mild test on Presque Isle's cushion track. Phillies and mares, 3 years old and up racing for an allowance tag of $41,000. Contenders number 5, Dixie's Hope. Number 3, Be My Candy. Number seven, Twilight Memory, and the period entry of number one, Hobnobbin, and number one, a Peladora Fuerte on my list as well. Number five, Dixie's Hope, takes a class drop of six units as the pace profile leader in this allowance field, racing at the mile distance on the dirt, has hit the board in four of her last five outings overall, including a win in her fourth race back. Jockey Mario Pino has been for irons on one previous occasion, posting a win back today for his second ride gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number three, Be My Candy, has turned in power run performances in four straight starts, including a power run place finisher last time out in a race which was contested at tonight's Trackmaster Plus class level of 90. Race 6 summary, number 5, Dixie's Hope, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 3, Be My Candy, number 7, Twilight Memory, and the paired entry of number 1, Hobnobbin, and the stablemate, 1A, Peladora Fuerte, on the list as well. That's 5371 in the 6th from Presque Isle Downs. Bonus long shots, Who's Your Daddy Park, race number 4, the 9 to 2 shot. Number 10, Mo Faster, the overall speed leader in his claiming field, springing at tonight's distance of six furlongs on the dirt. River Downs, race seven. Entry number four, Garkin Dancer, a four to one shot. Speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at or about today's distance of five furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in two of his last three, including a power run win his last time out. So from Presque Isle on a Wednesday, or even fourth. Day at the track.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.